Hi, I'm Claire and this is my husband Nick. We met in an online chat room in 2001 and ended up getting married in 2006. We're a fairly normal, hard-working couple who love travelling and enjoying a drink or two. In early 2020, we decided we wanted a whole new life-changing challenge. So we said goodbye to our jobs. We sold our Wiltshire farmhouse we packed up our things and made the move to France. In early 2001, I went back to the UK to finalise our house sale and pick up my Arga. I was on Facebook on an Escape to the Chateau fan club page when I saw this advert. I messaged Nick the advert, curiosity got the better of him and he went and arranged a viewing. With the instructions from me, I trust your judgement, if you think I'll like it, Put in an offer. The offer was accepted and we finally got the keys on the 10th of June 2021. Join us and our dogs Merlo and Flora as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. Back in the laundry, more tiling. However now I've got to the point I've only got a couple of new complete full tiles to do in this room. I haven't started on the bathroom area yet but um, I've now got to start focusing on the edge which is not a complete tile width so I'm going to need to cut a tile lengthways and they're too long to fit into the tile cutter so um, my plan is to go at it with the angle grinder. There we go, well that first one seems to have cut reasonably well. There's a couple of minor chips here, but um, when that gets fitted, that should be covered by the skirting board. Only six or seven or so to go. That's all I can do for now because I need to complete the rest of the, the row um, before it. Um, where I'm having to cut this up against the wall, it needs a bit of measuring, so I need the ones there in the way first. You know what I mean. ferry in Portsmouth and it was lovely bright sunshine and then 10 minutes into England it's grey, it's rainy, it's cloudy, um, going along the M23 and I can't see the car in front of me because of the surface spray uh, off the road from the water. I'm now in a traffic jam. I can't remember the last time I was in a traffic jam. <laughs> this is my first time back in England in a year. And yeah, I'm sat in a traffic jam in the rain uh, and I need a wee. Welcome back to England. My first stop off the boat has been McDonald's because McDonald's in England 
to a thing called a double sausage and egg McMuffin. I don't have these in France and I haven't had one of these for a year. Oh, oh it's heaven. It makes the rain seem better. So I'm visiting my friend Tim's house and last year I surprised him by buying him this marvellous one-of-a-kind clock. Today I'm visiting and I've outdone myself this time and I'm about to give him a very special gift. A one-of-a-kind gift that nobody in this world has or will ever have again. So after, after your fantastic gift last year, Mr Kirkup, are you ready for this year's gift? I think so. <laughs> I think so. I don't really know. I really don't know. <laughs> what? It's a trophy. <laughs> stand or for special occasions or you could even just pour your wine into it <laughs> oh, you really you can out of yourself I really want to swear but I really can't do you want, do you want to hold it up and say a few words <laughs> Claire, you've outdone yourself. Um, I, 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 thought, I, I don't know what else to say. I think this could be one of your first awards in a long time. It's my only award anywhere ever, and it's not mine, it's for a dog. It's for a dog in France. <laughs> I've done it. I have now finished laying the floor tiles in here. Yay! Um, obviously they will need to be grouted. I'm not going to do that just yet um, because I've still got to lay the floor tiles in here and I'm going to wait for Claire to come and so we can choose the colour of the grout together. Um, I don't want to get the wrong one. So uh, right well there we go I'm making good progress and I need to carry on into here and get this little room done. And there we go, I've now tiled into the bathroom here. Um, I can't do any more because they're all wet and I can't stand on them and I can't jump. So um, that is all for today. Um, tomorrow that will all be dry and I can finish off the last little patches and then get my head round what to do with the shower tray. This time coming over to the UK I've booked myself some experiences and treats and my first one is tonight uh it's with my friend mel and we are going raving we're going to a 10 hour overnight rave at the bath and west showground called Westfest. yay <laughs> like-minded people will come together and get lost in music we were part of a different generation peace love unity and freedom of expression that's all we cared about
there was a raving later. We did it. We are still alive. We're still alive. We are not too old for this. We're not too Well, I have reached a milestone. Bathroom, floor, tiling, don't worry about that. It's finished. All down the main room. And even a couple in the cupboard. So everywhere is now tiled on the floor, with the exception of the shower tray. But I've done everywhere else. Yay! Okay, well I'm just about to start tiling this shower tray here. Um, I've cut out all the pieces and laid them out and then moved them all. So hopefully I can remember what goes where. Um, biggest game of tet Tetris ever, isn't it? <laughs> tray is tiled so uh, I'm going to leave it overnight now I've got, I've got a little sliver I need to do along there but it's so thin I don't want to do it while everything else is wet um, I'm going to have a go at doing that tomorrow but uh, I'm really quite pleased with that floor there seems to have dried okay got to clean up a couple of the tiles I do need to tile the grate that goes in the drain hole there but um, I actually ran out of tiles so I need to go and buy some more um, but apart from that I think that's looking good so I am now going to make a start on tiling the walls in here um, been a long time coming but uh, today is the day when that starts. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've just been working out how the tiles are going to be, is, is fit a batten around the room um, to tile up from. And once those tiles have gone off, I'll take the batten off and do the, the cut down to the floor. And it's going up. I'm going around the corner a bit. Yay! And now I've done along that wall a couple of rows. Hey. Well, I don't think that's a bad start to the tiling in here. Reached the end of the day now. Light is beginning to fail. But I'm pleased with the progress. And if I do say so myself, it's starting to look good, isn't it? Another day of tiling. Woo woo. Um, well, I haven't done around the bottom or around the top, but otherwise I've done that wall there, that wall there, all along here. Apart from a few tiles here, um, so I've got left to do most of this wall and this side wall here. Um, it's all a bit fiddly. Nearly every tile, well, every other tile, I seem to have to cut. Um, sometimes L shaped to go around the boxing, the windows. It's okay. Doing all right. Perfect. Well, it has some adhesive on it. So 
something very British for you in a little tiny rural village in Wiltshire. The church and the chickens on the wall. Another day, more tiling. However, you can see where I've got up to now. I've done the top row all along there, all along there. I've done above the window. I've got a prop here holding that tile up till it goes hard. So, from here, there, 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 to there. Um, not done this wall yet because um, Claire has chosen a mirror. And I don't know where the power is. We haven't bought it yet. So I need to get the mirror and check where the power comes out the wall. Um, I've not done this wall yet. So I'm a bit worried I'm going to run out of tiles. I'm going to go around, do around the bottom. And then, uh, yeah, see where I am after that. So there we go. That wall on the left is now finished. That wall I need to now do inside the boxing. And this wall is finished apart from a bit down there. And then that wall needs to be finished off along there. Um, I ran out of mix and I thought, well, I could make up another lot. Ah, oh, not tonight. I haven't done the sides or the bottom of it. I've done that wall. I need to do the window sill. And I've done that wall. And I've done halfway up that wall. And I've just added up how many tiles we have left. And I'm going to be one short. Bugger. Oh well. That wall probably will end up just being half height tiled like what it is now. So today I've just been finishing off a few of the little fiddly bits of tiling in here. So I've now tiled the recess and the bottom of it. Um, I do need to do something to the top of there. But I'll wait for all that to dry off. Also done the window sill over here. Um, <laughs> didn't buy enough tiles to do that one so that'll have to wait for another day having been to the Brico shop early this morning I'm not going back in fact I might not go back for the rest of the week we'll see <laughs> oh. today I am not tiling. Yay! Because I've actually pretty much, apart from that windowsill, finished the tiling in the sheet. Yay! I hear you say just as loudly as me. So, anyway, so I've got to do some work today. Um, what I'm going to do, all the screws that hold up the plasterboard on the ceiling, I'm going to fill them I've got some little filler I did this before uh, to the walls in the Maison de Maitre when I was building the bathroom and the cloakroom in there so I'm doing that that on the ceiling here try and make it look like it's all one smooth ceiling um, and then when that's all gone off if it needs a rub down I can do that and if not it can be painted 
Um, I put floor protection down because I don't want dollops of the filler to go down on there. to apply the stuff here um, I let, let it go really nice and hard this isn't a big room I've got to do the same all around the walls in there and on the ceiling that isn't even up yet um, I've gone around most of the room there's a few places I haven't but I've taped and jointed most of the room um, I think I'm going to leave that for today and go back into the bathroom and <sighs> I'm going to do some grouting grouting and wipe down I'm going to leave it a little while longer then come back in and uh, wash it all down again and then come tomorrow that should all be dry and ready just to dust off and that'll be that little job finished so there's little more I can do now apart from entertain these two who seem to like to be Wherever I'm working, don't you? And apparently grout tastes good. This week's been a bit of a special week for me visiting England. So I've come over to see friends and see some other things as well while I'm here. Not just raving. Um, it's been my 38th birthday this week and as a birthday treat to myself, I booked myself a ticket to come somewhere very, very special. Um, I've just got here, I've just arrived and wow, it's incredible. I'm hoping to take away some possible decorating ideas from this. So, you may recognise this place. Today, I have come for a guided tour of High Clear Castle. I'm at Downton Abbey. Look. see any external shutters on this property but I can see some internal shutters they do look quite well painted I must say as the uh, shutter queen <laughs>
just come out from my tour and afternoon tea and I have to say that was really, really lovely. Um, it was a bit of an expensive tour. It was £130, um, but it did come with a free afternoon tea, a goodie bag, and they have a thing downstairs about um, all of the things to do with uh, the Howard Carter and the tombs of Tutankhamun in Egypt. I think I'm done here. It's a bit of a shame I couldn't take any pictures, but it's given me a couple of ideas. <laughs> um, yeah, great day out. <clears throat> so in this area that we're gonna get cleared, we've got these two very, very large um, stone or concrete tubs, which, um, well, they're full of things at the moment that Claire planted. Um, you can see quite how much pine needles have fallen on it ever since. Anyway, um, we want to move them because um, they're not really where we want them ongoing. So uh, there's no way they're going to move when they're full of something. So. So they were here when we moved in. I um, don't know why the previous owners didn't take them away. They took away a lot of other garden ornaments that we'd rather have them left, but uh, hopefully they're not so fragile that when I'm trying to move them, they'll just crumble. Um, anyway, the, the soil inside is really hard, so I'm just gonna um, chuck a few buckets of water in just to, to try and make it softer and easier to Got the soil out of the tub, or nearly all of it. There are a couple of holes in the side. Whether they were deliberate or damaged that they then just uh, stuck some plants in to make it look pretty, I don't know. Hopefully it won't hurt the integrity of the actual thing. I'm gonna have a go, see if I can get it onto its side and roll it. Well, that was a lot better than I was predicting and uh, it's revealed this that's a hole I was talking about it looks like damage we've got that other hole in there an old drain hole it's quite a beast really um, but anyway I've moved it so uh, on to the other one I guess Well, that's the second one moved. Again, it's got a drain hole at the bottom. Now this one hasn't got any, the holes in the side, the damage that the other one has got. However, it has got a big crack. I don't know if you can see that, big crack that's been stapled. So somebody's obviously valued this pot enough to repair it. We need to uh, work out where to put them. Anyway, for now, I'm just going to say another good job done. And this is Rock Orchestra.
I'm on the ferry, I'm in Portsmouth, uh, and it's time for my overnight ferry back to France. I've had a fantastic week catching up with people, seeing friends, raving, uh, downtown abbeying, rock orchestraing. So yeah, I've had a really good week, but I'm getting ready for a night in my own bed and to see the doggies. And maybe Mr Butcher. <laughs> Hello. The cook and cleaner has returned for you. Excellent. Get on with it. <laughs> now, I brought your present all the way from England. Okay. I had to smuggle this through customs. Shh, don't tell anyone. Your favourite. Oh, all day breakfast. It's an all day breakfast oh. sandwich. Oh. 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 I've already cooked you lunch. Oh. <laughs> Brill. Don't wee on me. Don't wee on me. Don't wee on me. Hello. Hello, children. Oh, someone's weed on me. Not me. <laughs> Hello. Hello. All careful. Well, they remember oh. you then. Oh. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> so this week we thought we'd come and do Wine of the Week in your freshly tiled en suite. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome to Wine of the Week. And again, this week it's not a wine. This is a very special birthday present that I received from Mr and Mrs Bacon in Wiltshire in the UK, it is homemade blackberry liqueur by Mandy. So I must firstly say thank you very much. <laughs> and then pour. <laughs> Apparently it's very sweet, so well what a productive week. Um are you tiled out yet? I've, I've done enough tiling now for a while, I hope. <laughs> and I'm back from my travels and I'm ready next week to start on the, uh, the Christmas project I spoke about last week. Yes. <laughs> That'll come round quickly, won't it? It will. <laughs> right, cheers Mike, cheers Mandy. Cheers, cheers everyone, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this week's episode, please click, click the like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed, you can subscribe. Don't forget you can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Or catch up with one of our blogs on our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com Can I just say this is just incredible I know, screens. this is really nice. I know. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching everyone and we will see you next Sunday. Cheers! <laughs>